Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more WWE 2K16 Universe Mode. My name is Brendan Plays, and tonight we are here with this week's SmackDown, and we are kicking it off with none other than our SmackDown General Manager. His name is Edge, and tonight he has a huge announcement regarding the Bragging Rights pay-per-view. As far as we know right now, Bragging Rights will consist of a massive main event, monumental. Dean Ambrose, our WWE Champion versus our World Heavyweight Champion, Kevin Owens. SmackDown vs. Raw, huge matchup that will take place in the main event of Bragging Rights. As far as we know, Edge is out here tonight to announce another matchup that will take place at Bragging Rights. And he has a little bit of information to share regarding that matchup. So let's go check in with Edge and see what exactly he has to say regarding this match. In four weeks' time at Bragging Rights, it is SmackDown vs. Raw. SmackDown has been the dominant brand every single time that these two brands meet. And we look to continue the trend. The Rock, he's corrupt. He doesn't know how to run a brand. He doesn't know how to run a show. He doesn't know what the hell he's doing. The Rock, as far as I'm concerned, is an idiot. And he's running Raw into the ground. And if he wants to throw Dolph Ziggler out of Monday Night Raw, then let me tell you this. We're more than happy to take him here on SmackDown because that's exactly what SmackDown does. We take guys who have potential and we turn them into winners. We turn them into superstars. This look at your WWE Champion Dean Ambrose. He is a product of SmackDown and he became a made man right here on SmackDown. So in four weeks time, SmackDown vs. Raw, they go at it once again. But the new match that has been announced is that it will be a six-man tag team match. SmackDown versus Raw. The very three best from SmackDown versus the very three best from Raw. So tonight, we need to assemble a team to represent SmackDown. And tonight, we're going to have a series of matches to determine two of those very three participants. Our first matchup, it will be two former World Heavyweight Champions, Sheamus versus John Cena. The winner of that match will take the first spot and our second match of the night it will be Daniel Bryan and his opponent will be gotta be kidding me that is Mexico's greatest export it is Alberto Del Rio the rumors have been running rampant we knew he was scheduled to come back soon we didn't know which brand he would be coming back to would it be Smackdown would it be Raw well, it looks as though he's made his decision. He's here tonight on SmackDown. And looks as though he wants to be a part of this bragging rights team for the blue brand. He wants a matchup against Daniel Bryan, does he perhaps? I'm not sure. I don't know if he was the scheduled opponent for Daniel Bryan. But uh, perhaps he's here to stake his claim to be the man for that job. Del Rio is back, ladies and gentlemen. And he's back here on SmackDown. So let's go check in with what Alberto has to say to Edge. First of all, it's great to be back right here on SmackDown. You know, I've been deciding which brand I wanted to go to for the last number of months. Would I go to SmackDown or would I go to Raw? But I decided to return here to SmackDown because last time I was on Raw, I was treated unfairly. I was misused, mistreated. I should of being the WWE Champion multiple times. I should have had title shot at the title shot, but I never got that on Raw because they didn't see me in that way. But you see me in that way, don't you, Edge? You see me as the next big thing right here on SmackDown. And if you don't see me in that way, that's perfectly fine. I'm here to prove that to you. So tonight, give me Daniel Bryan. Tonight, give me him. I'll beat him, and I'll join the SmackDown team for bragging rights because I want a bit of revenge on Monday Night Raw for the way they treated me. And I'll kick whose ever head comes and stands in my way from that victory at Bragging Rights. Because I'm going to be here. I'm going to be representing SmackDown. And I'm going to be representing you, Edge. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Alberto Del Rio is back. And he wants an opportunity at Daniel Bryan here tonight. As far as we know, that match has been confirmed. And it will take place later on. But first, let's go check out the results for this week's main event. And we have the Inspirational Express. Bo Dallas and Adam Rose teaming up to take on the New Day. Now, that should be a good contest indeed. Alicia Fox in action coming up against Tamina and Naomi. We have Jack Swagger. With Zeb Coulter in his corner coming up against Damian Mizdow and The Miz. 
So let's go check out these results. So it is the new day picking up a win over the Inspirational Express. Foxy versus Tamita. It is Tamina picking up the W. And finally, Swagger versus Miss Dow. It is going to be Jack Swagger picking up another good victory there for the former Intercontinental Champion. So let's move on to this week's SmackDown. Neville continues his rivalry with the White family. He wants revenge at Braun Strowman. He's not going to get him tonight. Instead, he gets Luke Harper one-on-one. -on -one. Sasha Banks and Naomi, they meet once again in one-on-one -on -one action. The Lucha Dragons, they take on Gold and Stardust. And Bubba Ray goes one-on-one -on -one with Eric Rowan. Bray Wyatt will be joining Rowan in his corner. As we learned about earlier, Daniel Bryan versus Alberto Del Rio, the winner, joins either John Cena or Sheamus to be two out of the three members for the Bragging Rights team for SmackDown. So... Let's go check out the results. It is Neville picking up a victory over Luke Harper, the new tag team champion. Lucha Dragons versus Golden Stardust. Lucha Dragons pick up a solid victory there. Singles action. It is Eric Rowan picking up the victory over Bubba Ray. John Cena versus Sheamus. John Cena will represent SmackDown at Bragging Rides. He will either join Daniel Bryan or Alberto Del Rio. Let's go check out Sasha Banks versus Naomi. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we are underway. The new Divas Champion, Sasha Banks versus Naomi. A rematch from Payback. Sasha Banks winning the title against Naomi at the pay-per-view. Now looking to hold on to that championship tonight in a non-title matchup. But she'll be coming up against the former champion who requested this matchup immediately. She wanted a chance at Sasha Banks as soon as possible. And she's going to get it here tonight. Non-title matchup, yes, but an opportunity for a little bit of revenge and her own bit of payback. So Sasha Banks' opponent, Naomi, will not have Tamina accompanying her here tonight. Our SmackDown general manager, Edge, well, he wasn't exactly pleased with the interference that uh, Tamina played in that matchup at payback. And Naomi was granted a rematch here tonight, but she has to do it all by herself because Tamina nearly allowed Naomi to, to retain the title, nearly screwing over Sasha Banks. So tonight, she has to go at it by herself. And I guess if she gets the victory, then, well, she's probably going to get another title shot very, very soon. But if she loses, well, I'm not exactly sure what will happen there. We'll have to see. So Sasha Banks versus Naomi one-on-one -on -one here on SmackDown. This one is underway. So Sasha Banks immediately coming after Naomi with a big kick. Now they will lock up. So, bragging rights, we now know Owens versus Ambrose, SmackDown versus Raw match as well. It'll be John Cena. Will it be Del Rio joining him or Daniel Bryan? They will also have one more teammate joining them, and we'll find out who that is next week here on SmackDown. So, a big match, SmackDown versus Raw. Traditionally, SmackDown has been the winning brand in all these contests, so Raw really has to try and assemble... A dream team, I guess you could say. You know, there's a lot of great, talented superstars on Raw that could certainly give SmackDown a run for their money. But with Del Rio now thrown into the mix, SmackDown, they've got a very strong group of superstars to choose from. So it's going to be very, very tough for Raw indeed. And obviously, we now know if The Rock does lose bragging rights, his job will be on the line. He must win bragging rights. Otherwise, The Rock faces an opportunity to be fired if Dolph Ziggler can beat him at Money in the Bank. But we'll have to wait and see if that happens first before we start talking about that matchup. SmackDown General Manager Edge. Looks as though he's not exactly impressed with what The Rock has been doing over on Monday Night Raw. I mean, Edge has been dominating as a SmackDown GM. He's been, you know, winning pretty much everything. So perhaps a little bit of, you know, cockiness is perhaps creeping into his uh, decision-making there. I think he perhaps thinks he's got the much better brand. Many would argue right now that Raw perhaps has a stronger group of uh, superstars on their roster. I'm not exactly sure. I think it's pretty even, but uh, certainly going to be very, very interesting indeed at bragging rides. It really is anyone. Uh, anyone can win that matchup. No doubt about that. Is a swinging net breaker now by Sasha Banks taking down Naomi. Sasha Banks looking to continue her rise. You know, she's been here for a short period of time, but she's made such a huge impact already claiming the Divas Championship from Naomi at Payback. You know, I think Sasha Banks could be you know, the next big thing here on the Divas Ross. I think she's going to be one champion who's going to stick around for a long time. I think she's going to win many titles. I think, you know, we've seen many Divas kind of come and go. 
and maybe they'll win a title. You know, sometimes they'll get a bit of momentum for a couple months and they'll have a bit of success, but then they'll kind of fade away a little bit and you won't really see much of them again. But I think Sasha Banks is one of those Divas. Oh, Naomi flying over the top rope. Wow, that was impressive from the former Divas champion pulling out all the stops here tonight to try and win this one. But she will suffer a DDT for her efforts. So she wasn't able to really capitalize there. So I was just going to say, we've seen a lot of Divas come and go. Some have succeeded to the top, some haven't. But we haven't really seen many Divas consistently, you know, win title after title. Perhaps AJ Lee is one, you know, winning the title four times. Paige has won it a couple of times as well. Perhaps those are two of the only Divas. I think you could throw Naomi now into the mix after winning the Divas Championship for the second time herself. So, some Divas are kind of succeeding, some aren't. We aren't really seeing, you know, much longevity out of our Divas. You know, not many of them are really having a lot of success all the time. Well done there by Naomi using the, the ropes to her advantage. And she hits the Bulldog. Now, Sasha Banks in some trouble. Former Divas champion Naomi trying to win this matchup. Get herself another opportunity at the title. Not yet, though, as Sasha Banks will kick out. Going to be tough here for Naomi. She's probably become very accustomed to having Tamina in her corner. But tonight, she has to do it all by herself. Going to be very, very difficult indeed. Sasha Banks is just on such a huge roll right now. I'm not sure anybody can really beat Sasha Banks. Nice suplex there by Sasha. Opportunity now to put Naomi away. Didn't really get the chance to capitalize there and do it in the end. Naomi back to her feet. Sasha Banks now launched into the corner. Naomi coming to follow it up. And uh-oh, wait a second. Sasha on the top rope. This is not going to be good. This is not good. Oh, she manages to kick Naomi away and flies off the top of the crossbody. We've seen her win and beat Naomi before in the past with that move. But doesn't get the opportunity to do it. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to get ready to take a quick break here on SmackDown. We're going to be back after this. A few short little clips and what do you expect at NXT? No Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we are back right now. Naomi trying everything she can to put Sasha Banks away. She's getting a little bit frustrated right now because the champion just keeps on kicking out and making life very, very difficult indeed for the former Divas champion, Naomi. Sasha Banks now in the corner. Naomi looking to capitalize here. Takes down Sasha. She might be looking to fly here. Here comes Naomi. Naomi flying off the top. And now Naomi really has a chance to beat Sasha Banks right now. Sasha Banks will kick out at two though. Keeps the match alive. Oh, that was very close indeed. Sasha Banks, real chance to come back and win this one here. Big right hand there by Sasha, just slapping the taste out of Naomi's mouth. And now Naomi takes down Sasha. Well, Naomi really had a great chance to win this matchup. And what a win it would be. Because I think if Naomi loses right now, you know, she probably realizes that there may be someone else that could come in and take her spot. She wants to make sure that she gets a fair one-on-one -on -one rematch and doesn't and and it doesn't turn into a triple threat or something else as a tornado DDT using the ropes again. Because we've seen it in the past, another diva might come through, pick up a few wins, get a bit of notice, and sneak her way into the title match. Naomi taking this opportunity, you know, with full force, making sure nobody else gets a chance at Sasha Banks to for her. Not a bad idea by Naomi, but she needs to win for it to, p to pay off right now. Sasha Banks is down again. Naomi's looking to fly one more time. Here we go again. Can she capitalize now? She's got to go for the cover. She's got to go for it. Has she wasted too much time? Here we go now. Hooks the leg. Naomi's won matches in the past with that move. But it's not going to work because Sasha Banks knows better and kicks out. Maybe just a few valuable seconds wasted there by Naomi. Sasha Banks is such a hell of a competitor. Even one or two seconds too long could prove to be disastrous. Now Sasha has Naomi. Plants her on the top right right now. What is she thinking of doing right now? Sasha Banks. Pretty confident in herself. And oh, a knee right into the midsection of Naomi. Forcing her to the outside of the ring. Alrighty. Naomi's in real trouble now. Sasha Banks has managed to work her way back into the match. An elbow strike now. 
Sasha Banks a real chance here. She has to capitalize. Naomi's down. Sasha Banks wants her to get back to her feet. Here comes Sasha Banks. Oh, the rear view. Wow. Sasha Banks using Naomi's own move and wins the match. You've got to be kidding me. The ultimate insult. Sasha Banks using the rear view and has won the match. Well, we've seen in the past use the ropes. Now tonight, she uses the rear view. She doesn't care at all as long as she wins. Wow, Naomi. She won the match tonight desperately. And Sasha Banks, just the ultimate insult to win a matchup against the former Divas Champion with her own move. Incredible. My Sasha Banks, she's a rookie, but she really has no fear because she doesn't care. You know, Naomi, she's not going to exactly be very, very happy about that at all. But, Na but uh, Sasha Banks doesn't care what Naomi thinks. And that's uh, very bold from a rookie Sasha Banks here. But she's really, she's no rookie anymore. She is the Divas Champion and she picks up another massive win here tonight. Sasha Banks has done it again. One more victory to her name over Naomi. Will that cost Naomi an op another opportunity at the Divas title? We'll have to wait and find out. But a huge win for Sasha Banks here tonight. What a matchup it was. Sasha Banks just keeps on winning. Who can stop Sasha? We'll find out soon if anybody can. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, let's go and move on to our next matchup. Our main event, Daniel Bryan versus Alberto Del Rio. The returning Del Rio in action. So here comes the ultimate underdog. It is Daniel Bryan. And what an opportunity he has here tonight. He's been... Not really in amongst it recently. He's had a few chances and missed out. But now tonight he has an opportunity to represent SmackDown at Bragging Rides. But an opportunity that is going to be very, very difficult to fulfill. Because he is coming up against the returning Alberto Del Rio. We don't exactly know what to expect from Del Rio. Because we haven't seen him in such a long time. Last time we saw Del Rio, it was on Raw. And Del Rio didn't exactly have a great time of it. He was starting to lose and lose and lose. And eventually he quit. He had enough. He got the hell out of there. And now, a year later, he returns to SmackDown. Alberto Del Rio versus Daniel Bryan. What a match this is going to be, ladies and gentlemen. Mexico's greatest export. Alberto Del Rio. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Here he comes. What an opportunity now for Del Rio. And I think the reason behind this, you know, we don't exactly know what Del Rio is all about. Last time we saw him, he wasn't exactly the most trustworthy person. I don't know, he could have changed his ways, I'm not sure. But Alberto Del Rio, let's be honest, he's probably using this as an opportunity to perhaps suck up to the SmackDown General Manager. Just get in the SmackDown GM's good books. Del Rio wants to become a world champion once again. And he is begging to do that here on SmackDown. He almost won the world title a couple years ago against the Big Show in a classic matchup it was here in Universe Mode. But there hasn't really been much to say about Alberto since that moment because he hasn't really had many opportunities since. But now tonight, a new fresh start for Del Rio here on SmackDown once again. Denny Bryan is going to be the man in his way. Del Rio has a hold of him. Sends him against the ropes and Del Rio picks him up. No, he gets countered there by Daniel Bryan. Now, I don't think there's going to be too much ring rust on Del Rio. He's been traveling the world, competing in Mexico since he's been gone, being very successful over there. So he's at the top of his game right now. Many believe Del Rio, you know, when we heard the rumors that he was going to come back, many believe Del Rio was going to come back and take the title. He was going to come back and become a world champion once again. I firmly believe Del Rio could do it. He's got some stiff competition right now here on SmackDown. You've got the likes of John Cena, Daniel Bryan, Randy Orton, Brock Lesnar, Sheamus, some of the best of the best, not to mention our world champion, Kevin Owens. So Del Rio is going to have a very tough time of it, no doubt about that. But uh, I think he's probably picked the right brand. He's been contemplating for the last month. Where is he going to go? We knew he was coming back since Extreme Rules. But for the last month, he's been analyzing, which brand should I go to next? And obviously, Raw wasn't able to, to uh, seal the deal. There were some contracts that were being discussed. In the end, I believe Raw signed Rhino rather than Alberto Del Rio. And SmackDown got Del Rio in the end. I don't think Raw could really afford to bring Del Rio over. Because we all know Del Rio likes his money. 
And I think SmackDown had to kind of fork out a few extra zeros to get Del Rio here on SmackDown. So a good starting nonetheless from SmackDown GM Edge is Daniel Bryan right now coming after Del Rio. But it's Del Rio fighting back with a kick there. And we all know his strikes with his feet are absolutely deadly. The Inziguri, for example, is a brutal move. And oh, Del Rio now getting spun around here by Daniel Bryan. Not much you can do. Your, your kicks aren't going to land when you're dizzy. You don't know where you do. You know where you are and what you're doing. Very affected there by Brian, who gets sent down though by Del Rio. Tell you what, he's looking good so far. No doubt about that. Alberto Del Rio, looking like he's improved a lot already in a short period of time. Daniel Bryan still fighting back though. Daniel Bryan has been very close to getting himself an opportunity at Kevin Owens. You know, Sheamus in the end. Ended up beating him and went on to almost get a chance himself. But Daniel Bryan, he's getting very, very close, closer and closer to finally capturing golf for the first time here in Universe Mode as a singles champion. Del Rio just manages to kick out there, waiting for nearly the very last moment before he could kick out, perhaps conserving as much energy as possible and getting himself a chance to take a quick breather. Because no doubt about it, he's going to have a bit of rust. You know, it has been a while since he's competed. A couple months since he's been in Mexico. So Del Rio, whilst he's been around for a long time, you know, you need to be in the ring on a very constant basis to keep yourself going. He's had a few... He certainly had a few weeks without uh, a matchup. No, no doubt about that. As Daniel Bryan right now has a submission hold applied. Del Rio in some trouble. But Del Rio manages to get out of it. Daniel Bryan releasing the hold. Del Rio now... Coming back after Brian. Daniel Bryan, he's got a point to prove because Alberto Del Rio is right here to try and take Daniel Bryan's spot. You know, Daniel Bryan, he needs to make sure he can keep himself at the top because he's getting closer and closer, like we said. And now Del Rio is here. He's looking to take Bryan's spot away in this bragging rights matchup, which will be huge. We've seen it in the past. You know, you represent your brand successfully. It means big things for you in your career. Let's go back to WrestleMania last year. Bill Goldberg had a matchup in a six-man SmackDown versus Raw matchup. And in the end, Goldberg had another opportunity to come back again and compete for SmackDown at Bragging Rights in a Legend versus Legend match against Steve Austin. So Goldberg had two instances where he had an opportunity to kind of come back as a legendary figure here on SmackDown as Del Rio's trying to pin Brian unsuccessful. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to take another quick break as we continue to preview the upcoming NXT show that will be debuting next here on Universe Mode. Let's go check it out. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Both men are trying to get back to their feet. They've been battling it away. Daniel Bryan busted open in the commercial break. Now, Brian, here we go. These big kicks right now to the chest of Del Rio. Del Rio in real trouble. Brian, right on the button there of Del Rio. We talked about Alberto Del Rio's kicks. Well, you cannot look past Daniel Bryan's kicks. They're just as good, if not better. Now, Brian, try to put Del Rio away. And no, he kicks out at two and a half. Maybe two and three quarters. That was very close. Just manages to stay alive in this matchup. Brian getting back to his feet now, quite gingerly, obviously bleeding right now. Del Rio's done the damage, but Brian is able to keep Del Rio down himself. Del Rio now with a suplex takes down Brian, and he's feeling pretty confident in himself right now. And here we go! This is why he's confident, the cross arm breaker! Del Rio, a chance to put Brian away! Will Daniel Bryan tap out? No, he won't. Del Rio will release the hold, but the damage has probably been the done. It has been probably done. I mean, he can nearly break that arm right there. Now a side headlock has been applied. Very close to putting Daniel Bryan away. Daniel Bryan very close to putting Del Rio away. It's a close back and forth matchup between these two. And they're all fighting for a spot to, John, to join John Cena in the Bragging Rights team to represent SmackDown against Raw. Del Rio now plants Daniel Bryan down. Well executed. And what's Del Rio thinking about doing right now? Drags Brian back in the ring. He's now going to try and put him away here. I don't think he's going to really get it. But just applying a little bit more pressure to Daniel Bryan. Just keeping him honest. Nothing wrong with that at all by Del Rio. Who's back with a point to prove. 
And no better, no better way to make a statement than by beating Daniel Bryan. You come back your first night back, you beat Bryan. Immediately, you send shockwaves through SmackDown. And now Bryan with a submission of his own. The yes lock now applied to Del Rio. Will Del Rio tap out? Del Rio in real trouble. And Bryan can't get the tap out and looks for something else. Now, Del Rio with a stiff kick. And oh, again, an insecurity to Bryan there. We talked about his kicks. And that's a perfect example right there. Brian is dazed. He's dazzled. Now back to his feet now. Daniel Bryan, he's struggling though. That kick really kind of really hurt him quite severely there. Right to the head of Daniel Bryan. Now Del Rio coming after Bryan. Picks him up and takes him down with a German suplex. And now rolling through. Bridging it. Here we go. And oh, Bryan manages to kick out. Innovative maneuver there by Alberto Del Rio. And he's showing us all his new skills he's, er he's learned throughout his time over in Mexico. Brian against the ropes. Del Rio is going to pick him back up, though. Del Rio now has him up. He's going to try and went for a power slam. Not going to get it, though. And Daniel Bryan with the German suplex. Now Brian has a chance to put Del Rio away. He's going to try and put some pressure on Del Rio himself. Del Rio must kick out, and he will. In the nick of time at the count of two. Very close though. Daniel Bryan getting very, very close to putting Del Rio away. But Del Rio, he will not win or lose. If he loses here tonight, his first matchup back, it will be absolutely disastrous. You know, he can almost kiss his SmackDown career goodbye. That's how big of a matchup it is right now for, for Del Rio. If he loses, then instantly everybody is not going to take Del Rio as a major threat that he could potentially be if he does beat Daniel Bryan here tonight. Brian now in trouble, picks him up, slams him down with a sit-down powerbomb. Well executed there by Del Rio. And now, now he's going to try and put Brian away, is he? No, he's wasted too much time, decides he gets it anyways and just kicks him right in the back. Nothing wrong with that, nothing pretty about that either. But it is very effective. Brian now in the corner, Del Rio coming along quite slowly. You can see Del Rio... A little rusty. Nothing wrong with that, though. That is, certainly is to be expected. Certainly coming up against Daniel Bryan, one of the best of the best. He will certainly uh, give you a run for your money. Now Del Rio. Here we go from the top rope. Daniel Bryan in real trouble. Del Rio with the suplex off the top rope. If he covers him now, it's got to be it, surely. Doesn't go for it, though. Instead, looks for the side headlock. Perhaps Del Rio just needs a quick breather. Right, applying a little bit of pressure to Daniel Bryan here. Probably not going to get the tap out. We know that, but just kind of giving himself a, a chance to regroup here. I think maybe the three count was certainly on offer there with that suplex, but decided to go for the headlock instead. Perhaps making a crucial mistake there. And a mistake you cannot afford to make against Daniel Bryan. No doubt about that. Bryan now behind. Coming after Del Rio. Another German suplex. He's executed a few of those to perfection here tonight. It may not be Suplex City by Daniel Bryan, but certainly it is very effective. No doubt about that. And stopping now on the tricep of uh, Del Rio. Del Rio again taken down. Daniel Bryan trying to put Del Rio away. Oh, it's Jesus close again. That's very, very close. Del Rio is keeping it to the very last moment. There's no doubt about that. He must be very confident in his ability to kick out as the backstabber now executed. Can he capitalize? He can now. Going for the cover. Del Rio to put Brian away and win the matchup. No, wait a sec. Did he get it? The referee counted the three, but I think he's saying Brian had the shoulder up. Well, the referee slapped the mat for three, but he's saying Brian kicked out. And he couldn't stop his hand from hitting the mat. Controversy right now as Del Rio with the cross arm break it again. He's got it in again. Del Rio trying to put Brian away. Will he tap out this time? No, he won't. Again, Brian. That arm has to be very painful right now. Del Rio has Brian in the corner. Here he comes. Inseguri in the corner. Del Rio with a huge kick to Daniel Bryan in the corner. He's going to roll him over. Hooks the leg. Del Rio to join bragging rights for SmackDown. And Alberto Del Rio has done it. He will join John Cena and represent SmackDown at Bragging Rights. 
to take on Monday Night Raw. This match meant so much to Del Rio. He just wants a chance to say, hey Raw, you should have signed me. You should never have let me, you know, walk out in the first place. You should never have misused me in the first place. Well, Del Rio now has a chance to stick it to Monday Night Raw at Bragging Rides. Defeating Daniel Bryan tonight. Close matchup. Bryan almost coming away with the win. Just couldn't force Del Rio to tap out. Del Rio couldn't get the tap out either for Bryan. But the Inziguri in the corner. Look, if you get kicked in the head like that, not many men are going to be able to kick out, let alone get on their feet after the match. Del Rio walks away with the win. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much again for joining us for another episode of WWE 2K16 Universe Mode. NXT is up next. It will be our next episode. But if we don't get at least five likes, I will not be uploading NXT. In fact, I won't be uploading any more Universe Mode episodes ever again. So we better get at least five likes or no more Universe Mode. Get those five likes. Leave a like right now. Make sure you leave it or no more episodes. Guys, thanks so much again for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and check out the forums, brendanplace.com forward slash forums and the website as well for everything to do with Universe Mode. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.